Hello guys, this is Jackie Jimenez and welcome to my channel. For this year, I'm very very excited because I am collaborating with different people and I have thought of something that can inspire a lot of choristers and it's entitled Choir Fast Talk. So I'm going to interview some inspiring conductors, composers, arrangers, even choristers and performers to speak or say something about their life, about how they started with their music journey. And yes, for our first episode... Hey everyone, I'm Enrico Lagasca, bass baritone. I'm sending you this little video from my apartment here in New York City. Uh, thank you to Jackie for this invitation, um, for me to share with you a little bit of my life here in the US. Um, but I thought it would be nice to actually retrace my choral background uh, from home in the Philippines. So um, just a little history, I started singing in high school with the Sambeta High School Glee Club with Antonio Africa. And then I joined the Kalao Boys Choir, um, where I met Sir Mark Carpio. And then right after I graduated high school in 2003, that's when I joined the Philippine Magical Singers. And I stayed through 2009, um, which culminated with the UNESCO Artists for Peace recognition. Very briefly, also in 2008, uh, during their US concert tour, I was able to um, sing with the Atomei Chamber Singers and Sir Giorgio Velasco. So that's a little bit of a history of my folk and choral music background. Um, I am currently in New York City. I'm currently a full-time musician based here. Uh, I performed around the United States and occasionally in Europe. And um, I'm thankful to be continuing this craft, continuing what I do, what I love most, which started as a hobby. Um, and now a career which I'm very humbled and just um, grateful to call my, my, my full-time work um, either as a soloist or a chorister. I sing in operas, in um, concerts, in chamber recitals and, and many more. And you know, being a professional chorister here in the United States is actually a full-time career. It's a highly sustainable career that involves a lot of touring, a lot of um, traveling, a lot of like meeting dozens of dozens of fantastic musicians from vocalists to instrumentalists to to conductors and you know and just working around a, a massive amount of repertory from early music to contemporary music to new works and I'm very fortunate enough to perform to sing with um, some of the country's most distinguished professional choirs such as the Santa Fe Desert Chorale, um, Conspirare, Seraphic Fire, um, Skylark Vocal Ensemble, Bach College in San Diego, and many more. Here in New York City, I sing with the Trinity Choir of uh, Trinity Church on Wall Street. I was asked to give pieces of advice to, to promising young talent, and you know, uh, it's press enough uh, the importance of continuous learning and research. Um, I believe they go together at the same time, you know, there is a correlation to both and um, it does help one and the other for a successful performance and when you on top of your vocal, like solid vocal technique and presence are well versed with style, with history, with a specific genre, um, the fundamentals of music theory and many more, it helps create a solid um, well-informed performance which leads to confidence that helps you further your career and and is essential to to success in a field where you meet lots of lots of musicians from one city to the other and it's just like lots of personalities and all it's i could not express highly that you know we should be very kind and genuine and just professional colleagues and, and friends. I often direct people to my website, um, which you could visit um, via www.enricolagasca.com. Um, I could be found on any searchable engine website um, on Google, Yahoo, etc., whatever people use nowadays. And uh, you'll find news, reviews, photos, videos, hopefully more of the future after the pandemic. Uh, my personal, my most personal and 
professional day-to-day -day activities could be found on my Instagram at Enrico Lee. Favorite choir piece? You know, there are too many to mention, I guess. Too many to narrow down, really. Um, from Bach to the pre-Reformation composers, um, pre-Bach. I love Schütz, I love Wakeman, Buxtehude, Scheidt. Uh, a lot of like the Renaissance period. Love them all. Um, through fast forward to like a lot of the contemporary um, composers as well. Um, but I would like to send you all to listen to Carolyn Shaw's And the Swallow. You're probably hearing the background, uh, the, the recording of it right now. It's a recording that I did like three years ago at Yale. And um, it's, it's such a beautiful piece. I invite you to listen to it. Um, there is only a handful of available recordings online, uh, but Ars Nova just recorded it last year. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's such a beautiful piece. And Carolyn Shaw, the composer, she is just a wonderful, amazing uh, human being and musician and just an all around talent and a driving force in uh, the music scene here in the United States. My prayer, I pray for good health across the board to you, to your families, to your friends. Um, you know, as we carefully, carefully navigate through our way to a post-pandemic normalcy, um, it's a, um, I hope we are on a trajectory that is going to stabilize. And I am hoping that someday, um, sometime we'll all be able to gather again, give big hugs, talk a lot and uh, be, close to each other again, create more music, breathe together in one room. So I pray for good health and um, I pray that may we all survive this very trying times. Um, I would like to call it very tender times. So thank you again to Jackie and to everyone who's watching this. Um, please be well and um, hope to see you all again soon in person.